1051 The Buzz with Darian Mitchell Ted. Let's welcome to the show cosmetic surgeon, Dr. James Chan. I didn't realize I have these. Um, uh, they're they're basically all anti-anxiety meds, but I'm, I'm out of all of them. And so I brought the bottles to remind myself to refill. All your vials. And so I've got, he comes in and I've got all these like, danger, danger. <laughs> it's like a pharmacy I know. Um, I have stress. So... Earlier today, uh, Dr. Chan, by the way, uh, Dr. Chan is a renowned facial plastic surgeon. He is a ear, nose, and throat doctor who, um, who uh, that's the core of what he does. So he knows the medical reasons behind uh, different things with the whole face, but he also knows the artistry of it and the beauty of symmetry and all those different things. So he is sort of like a great facial plastic surgeon with an artist mentality, all about the science of beauty. Like Buckaroo Banzai. Not unlike. Buckaroo Banzai. <laughs> You Can you like sing that, my piano right. and sing since I don't have you? <laughs> no, I can't. Okay, well, you're not, not there yet. Talented. Not there yet. <laughs> Ted and I earlier, and I don't remember how it came up, we were looking at um, photos of uh, Kurt Cobain's daughter, Frances Bean, and she's exquisitely beautiful. She looks like a combination of young Angelina Jolie and Sherilyn Fenn. Like, she's exquisite. And um, then Ted investigated further, and it's like, oh... She is exquisite, genuinely so, but she's had some surgery done on her face. Uh. And one of the di- biggest differences was that she had a very, very small, um, thin-lipped mouth before. And her lips are now, they look correct for her face. Um, but they're, ve- they're, they're totally differently shaped and they're much larger. Do you think that, um, that lips, especially for women, add a dimension of femininity? And why is that? Oh, it absolutely does. Um, there is something, you know, very uh, youthful and sensual about having big lips. Well, lips and do thin as as the person ages, don't they? They absolutely do. Yeah, it's um, it's it has to. It's partly hormonal, so you lose a lot of the estrogen, and as a result, your lips deflate. So that can be. Um when it's done well, something that really adds a youthful dimension to especially the female face. Um, But not, of course, exclusively. So, uh, how do people avoid that sort of um, mm, Hollywood woman in her 50s looking kind of like a stretched out duck? Uh huh. So, first right, of all, what so causes Meg Ryan. that over? Well, I'll just say it. Yeah. No, right, right. Right. yeah. What, what? First of all, what causes that to happen, and how can you avoid it? Yeah. So definitely, when you when you do the lips and you rejuvenate the lips, it, it has to be age appropriate. You can't. You can't put a 20-year-old lip on an 80-year-old lady and expect that to look good. Um, Features appropriate, too, I would imagine. If you have certain features that look like you should be a large lip person, that large lips won't work on somebody whose face is not structured for that. That's correct. Um, And then also, um, uh, there are two things that people always ask for. They not only want big lips, but they want a lot of red lip. Okay, and as you age, when your lips thin, uh, you stop seeing the red part of the lip. So then, if you overfill that, all you're doing is getting that stretched out duck bill. Yeah. You're not really showing the red lip, which is what people really want. You're one of the few facial plastic surgeons that um, will do not only the fillers, but you'll do the actual permanent lip implant. What's that like? Correct. So. Their um, lip implants have gone through a huge evolution, but the current ones that we use, they're solid silicone. They're very, very pliable, very natural looking, and they work very well. They're very easy to put in. If you don't like them, very easy to remove. And basically, um, you you just slide them in. We do it in the office, and it's a permanent improvement in the lip for as long as you want it there. And if you don't like it, eventually, they can be removed. What does it feel like? What does it feel like when to have you, them? When, yeah, and what does it feel like to like? To what would it feel like for someone to, to kiss so the lip once, implant? Would they know? No. Once it's healed up, you you don't notice her there. You can drink from a straw. You can whistle. You can kiss. You can do anything that you normally would. Is it kind of underneath the fat in the lip, sort of like with the breast implants, where they go underneath Correct. the muscle? Yeah, it's underneath the muscle. What so. if you couldn't whistle beforehand? <laughs> it, gives you the, it doesn't give you any whistle abilities. So I'm not a great whistler, and I'd like to be better at it. No, it, uh, it's not going to help you there. Well, I'm out. Oh, my goodness. To find out about the latest in plastic surgery innovations and all the different things that are surgical and non-surgical to help you look and feel more youthful and beautiful, check out drjameschan.com. You can link to him from our pages as well. Or uh, Rev- Port- Revion's Portland. Revion's Portland or Portland Revion's? Revion's Portland. Revion's Portland. I it was instinctually. It was one right. of these years. Yeah. It's... Uh, 
And you have some new, uh, a new esthetician on staff now. Correct. So, um, because you were so busy that it was like too crazy. Correct. We have this monthly membership and we couldn't get people in the month that we were scheduling them. So, uh, 